Hello and welcome to Disheveled with Adam White. This is Sci-Fi July. Uh, today I'm going to talk about The Sioux Spaceman by Andre Norton and And Then the Town Took Off by Richard Wilson. Uh, I originally was looking for And Then the Town Took Off by Richard Wilson. I've done a thing on his uh, book Those Idiots from Earth and The Girls from Planet 5. Uh, I really enjoyed them. I wanted to get the rest of his books. Some of them were available on Kindle. Some of them weren't. So I got this one, and it turned out to be an Ace Double. Well, Ace Doubles are pretty cool. And this one had the Sue Spaceman as the other novel in it, which was, I mean, just check out that cover. You see that, you got to read that. Uh, <laughs> granted, it's not politically correct or... Uh, uh, shall we say, uh, racially sensitive, uh, but thankfully that's just the cover. He doesn't wear such a thing in the story. The story's actually really, uh, for being 1960, uh, it's actually pretty progressive in terms of, uh, the portrayal of other nationalities than white people. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if there's any white people in the story. Uh, so it was actually fairly progressive for that. Now, it was written by a woman. Andre Norton was a woman, uh, which I had forgotten. And so that was a nice surprise. And there was also no women in the story, which was kind of surprising to me. But um, I'll read you what it's about. Oh, wrong. No, that is the right side. Cade Whitehawk had two strikes against him in the space service. First, he had bungled his assignment on the planet Lodi. Second, he believed all creatures had a right to freedom and dignity, and having such opinions was strictly against the rules. But when he was assigned to Clor, he found the Akeni there, tortured yet defiant slaves of a vicious tyrant race. Right then, Cain swung at the last pitch. For rules or no rules, the Sioux spaceman knew that he was going to help these strange creatures gain their freedom and that he alone, because of his Indian blood, had the key to win it for them. It's, it's actually kind of part sci-fi, part western, which is, a ni which is always a nice mix. Uh, it, he, he had some trouble at his last posting because the space service that he works for aren't very progressive people. So they send him off to what they say is his last chance assignment. Uh, they have these slave people, they, they wear these collars and uh, they have a control box like you see there. And uh, so the cover is, other than the headdress there, is fairly representational of what goes on in the book. Uh, I couldn't find who did this cover. I like it. It's colorful. It's got red and yellow on it like a lot of the pulps did. They really stand out. Um, and like I said, it's not a very politically correct cover, but I, I think it just looks awesome. Uh, but, uh, so he goes to this planet and he sees that these people are enslaved and uh, he wants to do something to help, even though he knows that'll probably be the end of his career and he may even be jailed for it. Uh, he takes the place of another spaceman who was also a Sioux. And uh, so he finds some hidden notes that the guy took that only he could understand because it was written in his native language. And so he he's working towards freeing these people and it's a really good story. Uh, the only quibble I have with it is that, uh, when they refer to Cade, they'll refer to him as Cade, the Terran, the tradesman, uh, the, I don't know. There was like two other things and, and you get when he's talking to other people who are also tradesmen and Terrans, you get kind of lost in who you're talking about in, this, in the story. So that was the only quibble I had with it was that sometimes you, they called them so many different things. Just call him Cade. 
you know, it's not repetitive. It just it helps to keep things clear. Uh, but it was a really good story, really compelling characters. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, so I would definitely recommend this book. Now, on the other side, you've got And Then the Town Took Off. Let me read you what it's about. The town of Superior, Ohio, was certainly was living up to its name. In what was undoubtedly the most spectacular feat of the century, it simply picked itself up one night and rose two full miles above the earth. Radio messages stated simply that Superior had seceded from earth. But Don Court, stranded on that rising town, was beginning to suspect that nothing was simple about Superior except its citizens. Calmly, they accepted their rise in the world as being due to one of their local townspeople, a crackpot professor. But after a couple of weeks of floating around, it began to be obvious that the professor had no idea how to get them down. So then it was up to court, either to find a way to anchor Superior or spend the rest of his days on the smallest and the nuttiest planet in the galaxy. This is And Then the Town Took Off by Richard Wilson. Uh, actually, really good representational cover there. There's a, a senator who also acts as a pilot who wore that exact headgear in a plane to try to get to uh, the town of Superior that's floating there in the background. Um, <clears throat> it is just literally about that. Uh, this town raises out of the ground in the middle of one night and the people just kind of take it as like, well, it happened. <laughs> and so it's kind of strange that people don't react more to it, but, uh, they've got some nutty people that they, they've got a college in the town that's not accredited and that has some, uh, weird people working for it. They think maybe they had something to do with the town taking off, but they're not sure. Uh, Don Court is the main character. He works for the government, but is hiding that fact and trying to decide, trying to decipher what in the world happened here. Uh, he meets some people there from the town that he hooks up with that uh, help him, a newspaper editor and a college student, and who's also the daughter of one of the main professors there. Uh, I really was looking forward to this book because I enjoyed his other work that I talked about before. I love this story. I read it in literally in one setting. It's, it's only 123 pages long as part of this ace double. I, I read it in one setting. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It was kind of like a mix. It was like a science fiction Dr. Strangelove almost. It had that kind of wacky sensibility to it. Uh, and uh, you find out what happens when you're separated literally from Earth. Do the laws still apply to you? You know, who's in charge? Uh what do you do to keep thing to keep order to things? Uh, it's it's a really fun story, a really '60s science fiction story, and I really really loved it. Uh, I I have loved everything I've read of Richard Wilson. Uh, I before that those idiots from Earth I'd never heard of him, and it's a shame because he's a really good author. Uh, it's an excellent book. It's a very fast read, very well written. Uh, the characters are great. Uh, you just follow the plot the whole time and it's just a ride you get on and never get off until the very end. Uh, very good story. Really enjoyed it. I know I keep saying that, but I really did. And uh, you just have you there the mystery is how did this town take off from earth and how is it floating around where is it going to end up because it doesn't stay just in one place it floats over places and ends up over the ocean and are they going to go to other countries where did their loyalties lie then it's it's a kind of a political parody of uh what happens when you remove yourself 
and so sort of secede from uh, the United States almost when they take off. So what happens and what happens to the the town and the people and can anybody get to them? Uh, what happens when they do? Uh, it's just a very interesting story. Really great story. Like I said, some similarities to Dr. Strange Love, the movie, if you've ever seen that, which hopefully you have, if you haven't watched it, it's a great film. Uh, but it's, it's just, it's a really great story. There's some funny moments in it. Uh, really great story. Something else that, that pretty much sums up this ace double. So, and the town took off by Richard Wilson, the Sioux Spaceman by Andre Norton. I wanted to show you something else, which is this book, which is uh, Masters of Science Fiction, Richard Wilson. Uh, I got this, I told you about it on my previous video of his, and it's a real thick book. It's a collection of his short fiction. Uh, it's got a really funkadelic cover, which doesn't fit to any of the stories that I've read of his, so it's kind of a strange cover, I think. Uh, but uh, it's a really interesting cover. It's an eye catcher, obviously. But uh, it, giant fish in space with people riding them didn't really... I, I haven't read that story yet if it happened. Uh, but it's a really cool book, really awesome book. It was limited to 500, so it was a little pricey. Uh, it also has in it... Uh, something I like, which is autographs. It's autographed by Paul D. Filippo, who's an author himself, who did the introduction. And it's also uh, autographed by John Palin, who was the editor, and Jim and Ruth Keegan, who, who did the art for the cover. Uh, it also has a facsimile signature of Richard Wilson, because he obviously posthumously couldn't have uh, giving them a real autograph, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure how long he's been deceased, but uh, unfortunately, they couldn't get his actual autograph on it. But this is a really cool book. If you read any of Richard Wilson's stuff, the, like I said, a couple of his novels are available on Kindle, and uh, the rest you can get with uh, like this Ace Double, which I really recommend. And... Uh, those Idiots from Space you can get in its original edition. This this was the original edition from 1960. Uh, the This was from, I don't know, a few years back. But it's a really cool book. Thick book. Got all this short fiction in it. Very excellent book. Really in, enjoy it. And uh, I wanted to show that to you. Uh, because that's cool. <laughs> And I wasn't going to do another Richard Wilson because I figure now that I've done two with him that that's probably enough for you guys. Uh, considering not many people watched the last one. <laughs> but uh, The Sioux Spaceman and Then the Town Took Off. Great stories. Lots of fun. 60s science fiction. Vintage stuff. Uh, really enjoyed them both. So I highly recommend them, especially Richard Wilson. Check him out. You won't be as disappointed. And Andre Norton wrote tons of other stuff too. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with me this week. And I'll see you next week for more Sci-Fi July.